But what's not amazing is that they gave another influencer all the airtime while talking about it. They showed me for maybe like 15 seconds total and then gave the influencer Megan Roop, who is the founder and business owner of Sculpt Culture, Sculpt Society, something like that. She already has her own brand, yet she decided to be the face of mine. Alrighty, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we are going to be talking about the concept of Cozy Cardio, so if you have been on TikTok, you might have heard of this, as well as some some drama that is surrounding it, which, I mean, I feel like whenever we talk about TikTok, there's always some drama surrounding whatever thing we are talking about. Um, so if you're unfamiliar with what Cozy Cardio is, I do want to kind of introduce the person that kind of coined that term and started talking about it, and then we'll get into what the drama is. So the person that created, quote unquote, Cozy Cardio is this creator right here. Um, this is Hope Zuckerbrow, and she posted um, this this uh tiktok that got really popular now i'm not gonna be able to play the music but it's basically her losing 100 pounds so it starts from here and then we end on her losing a lot of weight and so it's you know one of those like inspirational type of videos and so she kind of gained popularity from that tiktok and then from there she actually started sharing her journey with working out which morphed into what is called now cozy cardio this video right here from the messenger kind of goes over what exactly cozy cardio is for those of you that might not be familiar so let's go ahead and watch this and you know what time it is it's time for cozy cardio if you suffer from anxiety related to working out around others, also known as gym anxiety or gym intimidation, this new wellness trend might be for you. Our candles, cozy comfort, of course. Best scent in my opinion. I will never get tired of looking at this view. So cozy. Got my fuzzy socks. Now it's time to set up our station. Water, coffee, remote, and other remote. Introducing a gentle approach to incorporate exercise into your day-to-day. -day. TikTok creator Hope Zuckerbrow began sharing her fitness journey, hoping to find a healthy relationship with exercise by vlogging her cozy cardio mornings. So I really like this um, as far as cardio is concerned or just working out. One thing I talk a lot about is people feel like it has to be all or nothing. And so they want to start working out, but they feel like, oh man, I'm, I'm afraid to go to the gym or, you know, I tried running and it hurt too much or I tried lifting and I was sore for four days straight. Right. And that, that's just not, I can't do that. Right. Stuff like this, this is you can start with this and this can be enough especially if you're severely overweight right and like walking for you can be genuinely like a solid workout i mean walking is a solid workout regardless of your size in my opinion but this is a good way to get steps in where you're not really thinking about it right you watch a show on netflix you don't have to be walking super fast to where you feel like your your heart rate is gonna explode or anything like that just very easy you don't have to think too much about it like there there are plenty of ways to get movement in that are not going to the gym and being around people that you're not familiar with right which include making her choice of protein coffee putting on a good show or movie and starting her workout on a walking pad in comfy clothes surrounded by her version of i love that she's using folgers i too use folgers leave me alone in the comments i don't want to hear it i put so much stuff in my coffee it does not matter how good the coffee is i'm going to put a ton of sweetener i'm going to put creamer in it Come at me all you want. Oh, you like you like coffee flavored things. Fine. I don't like hot bean water. Leave me alone. A cozy vibe. As usual, this feels very relaxing. Love Reese Witherspoon. It's been 20 minutes, so I'm gonna bump it up. We're at 30 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and go down to 3.5. Sweating today. In some videos, she's seen wearing a robe, fuzzy socks, and slippers. Her goal was to move away from the idea that exercise had to be punishing due to societal pressures around appearance. By turning her workout into a soothing ritual, she learned to enjoy being active, which has become a form of self-love and meditation for her. I like that. It has also helped her drop two jean sizes in five months. Okay, I'm gonna warm up for a second while I find myself a show. I think we gotta go with Mean Girls. Yep, we're doing it. Mike Hamlin, a certified strength and conditioning coach, told Health.com that this trend to be, quote, very effective at slowly building up positive associations with fitness, which is super beneficial for long-term health. I think it's so funny when they get like quotes from these people because it's for I don't know maybe I'm just too into this but like for me it's like this is just common sense like of course this is a good thing like anyone that would hate on this I don't know man May again maybe I'm just too into this but I'm I just feel like they could literally ask anyone and they'd be like yeah this seems like a pretty good idea to get started <laughs> But. Although this is just the baseline. Another 2022 study found that adults who exercise at least 150 minutes per week had a substantially lower risk of death from all causes than those who didn't. But the risk were even lower for those who exercise longer at a higher intensity. So that's kind of annoying that they, they bring this up a couple times um, in different videos as well. Like, it's a good start, but it's, you know, maybe you should be doing more. And it's like, okay, maybe, but 
I, I don't understand why you have to bring that up in a video like this. Why not just like focus on the good instead of like, well, it's not enough though. So you should probably do more, you know, the cozy card is cool, but like there's, you should do more. It's just like, let, let people start, man. Like let people start. I'm sure most people, if they get into it and they start doing this frequently, they might want to do more on their own and they'll find that out for themselves. Cozy Cardio is Cozy Cardioing. Doing good. Hashtag Cozy Cardio has over 2 million views on TikTok. Many claim that it has helped them find a love for moving their bodies since exercise feels more enjoyable rather than like a chore. Plus, many found that just creating a cozy environment with candles has helped their outlook on workouts. Last minute, I'm gonna cool down. And that concludes our 40 minute cozy cardio session. 2.62 kilometers, burn approximately 166 calories. Time to clock out. Remember so that is cozy cardio. Now, where the drama comes from was that cozy cardio was featured on a news segment where they kind of showed hope for like 10 seconds, but then they end up showing another creator that it just feels a little weird, especially when you kind of learn like, oh, this was created by a very specific person. They had that person on, but only on Zoom. Like, why not show them more? So let's go into that as well. This is the uh, the segment from the Today Show, and it says, The Cozy Cardio Fitness Trend. Motivational Monday. Hey, now. Whether your workout includes strength training, cardio, or high-intensity intervals, it can also be cozy. Now let's do some cozy cardio. So that's hope right there. Today, fitness fiends are reinventing workouts with a new trend. Here's how it works. You grab your favorite cozy loungewear, you want to set the mood, grab a drink, beverage, and then put on your favorite TV show or podcast and get started with your low-impact movement. It's a practice Megan Roop, now in her 30s and a mother of two, has leaned heavily on for her postpartum recovery. You are not new to fitness, but when did Cozy Cardio get on your radar? I saw this trend happen on TikTok and it really resonated with me. This so she says herself, right? I saw this trend going on TikTok and then it really resonated with me. So she saw other people doing it, right? So she, she was aware that it existed before she created it, right? She, well, she obviously didn't create it. Especially in that postpartum phase that I was in, it just felt like less of a hurdle to get dressed. I was already in my pajamas, I was already in my sweats. Roop has always been active. Once a professional dancer and fitness instructor, she says she worked to deal with her views of body image in her 20s. But when she got pregnant, a lot of those feelings came up for me again. How were you dealing you know, and feeling? I struggled in pregnancy and postpartum with all the changes and um, someone who's super active. I'm not able to do everything I used to do. And like, I want to make it clear that that is completely valid. And I am, when I first saw this and heard about this, I was like, well, I don't want to like shame this woman because she doesn't, I'm assuming she probably didn't know that this, the girl that create the woman that created this cozy cardio thing was only in some zoom thing and in it for like 10 seconds and she was going to take up the whole thing. But I, I, I feel like today should have done a better job of being like, this is the person that created it. And I just don't understand, like you have the creator, you were able to re reach out to them. Why not just feature them primarily? I just, it's very strange. It's very strange that they decided to feature someone else who you'll see in a little bit has something to sell at the end. I, I'm just saying it's a little strange. Okay. That's, that's, we'll, we'll just keep going. This new kind of workout was a welcome reframe. For it, and you're ready to go. Lighting a candle, having my warm cup of coffee, standing by, music that I enjoy with my workout. Those are things that just create an atmosphere, an environment that I look forward to. I always say too, like the movement also needs to be something that resonates with you, right? We can feel when we're enjoying movement or not. On a treadmill, counting every calorie as I ran in my early 20s, I, my, my body could tell I didn't enjoy that. The term was popularized by health and wellness creator Hope Zucker Brown. I really want cozy cardio to be a movement where people can reclaim their relationships with exercise. Let's do some cozy cardio before work. The trend encouraging people to view fitness as a joyful experience. It was meant for you to just enjoy yourself, to take a little bit of time to do the things that feel good for you. The trend comes as mounting research. So that's like the, the extent that they show her. <laughs> I'm just like, damn, that's savage, man. Search finds being sedentary increases your risk of illness, including dementia, cancer, and heart disease. Cozy cardio is a great way for people to kind of get started with exercise. Cozy cardio is not always a high enough intensity 
to actually meet our physical activity guidelines. The Center for Disease Control currently recommends 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise a week with at least two days of strength training. Now, all of that stuff I don't disagree with. I don't disagree with that stuff. Like, I think that strength training is great. Like, one of the best things you can do. But again, if this gets you started, I'm not going to be like, well, just so you know, it's not enough. So you have to do more eventually. You know what I mean? Like, just get started. But I think that's kind of besides the point. For Megan Roop, this new trend has revolutionized her ongoing fitness work. People are so compelled to this cozy form of working out. It's just removing that barrier to entry, right? So if you can roll out of bed, be in your sweats, be in something comfortable, it feels like you can show up to it. Yeah, I can do that. It doesn't feel so overwhelming. And it is worth noting, Megan Roop is CEO and founder of the fitness app Sculpt Society and created Cozy Sculpts for her clients as a cozier alternative to high intensity workouts. So, yeah. okay, so that at the end is a little fishy to me. But regardless, okay, I'm going to I'm going to leave myself out of it for right now. How does the creator of Cozy Cardio, the person that kind of started this whole thing, how does she feel about this i think that's kind of important right well i'm so glad you asked you're so smart um this is her response to the whole segment that we just watched okay. giving you guys the tea on everything that happened this morning in case you were not able to watch the today show segment the today show interviewed me they told me there was going to be a cozy cardio segment super exciting and it did cozy cardio the concept got four minutes of total airtime on the today show which is like insanely amazing but what's not amazing is that they gave another influencer all the airtime while talking about it. They showed me for maybe like 15 seconds total and then gave the influencer Megan Roop, who is the founder and business owner of Sculpt Culture, Sculpt Society, something like that. She already has her own brand, yet she decided to be the face of mine. She doesn't follow me. She's never interacted with my videos that I know of. I don't know her, yet she felt compelled to be the face of the entire interview never once dming me nothing now again i think that it's messed up but i again i don't know what the behind the scenes of was with today like why they decided to feature this person if she, i'm assuming they didn't tell her, like we know this other person created it but we don't like her so we want you to be the face of it and you can take over i i doubt that that happened I assume she saw an opportunity and she was like, oh, cool. They want to feature me. I have been doing this cozy cardio thing. And so why not? I, I would assume that she didn't know that the creator would be on it, but also featured significantly less than her. That being said, I think after seeing it, I would be like, yikes, I need to reach out to this person because that is not what I intended at all. Right. And like I, that would be my first thing was like, oh, OK, th th this is not what I thought was going to happen. Right. It can suck. You can be like, man, I was so excited. And now I feel like this thing that I was excited about is not what I had thought. I understand that feeling. But I think it makes sense to be like, you know what? I I need to reach out to this person. And be like, hey, this is not my intention. I'm, I'm sorry that this happened or something. Right. Hopefully that happens because this all is happening like in real time right now but i hope that 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 she's able to reach out to her because it's just uh, yikes and since the segment has aired is now dropping cozy sculpt programs a lot of people said they decided to give her airtime because she is the skinnier version of me basically white dark hair but skinnier um i kind of agree and that stings so bad really stings i obviously i don't know if that's true uh i i mean knowing uh media i would not be surprised that she's older than me she's a whole mom she loves the concept i love that for her that's why i created the concept for people exactly like her but she didn't feel any need at all to like message me about this i don't know overall it just feels very icky my feelings are hurt but i'm proud for cozy cardio so that's kind of the that's where we left off like this this tiktok was uploaded i think yesterday or today or something like that um as i'm recording this video and so that's kind of everything that's going on i think that it's very interesting um i i can understand her feeling like it was almost intentional i really don't know i have no idea i think that the today show could have done a lot better of a job 
of featuring her. And I, I just, I don't understand. Like the only thing I can think of is that they knew this woman, the woman that they featured more, maybe lived close to them. So it would have been easier for them to go and film all the little segments that they did. And that it was just like a, oh, this is just easier for us to do. So we'll do it this way. Instead of, I don't know exactly where Hope lives. Maybe she would have had to fly out. Maybe they didn't want to deal with all that. It wasn't that important to them. So like, oh, we'll just do a Zoom. I don't, I don't know. Um, but I can understand feeling upset and like being like, yo, what the hell? <laughs> like, this is not cool. Um, but I would love to know what y'all think just in general. Like, what do you think about Cozy Cardio? And then also, what do you think about the situation? Do you think people are overreacting? Do you think it's fair to feel a little slighted? Um, I would love to know. Let me know down in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.